Hey friends, so I've been having some 1vx's over the weekend because I've been trying to decide which weapons I prefer for small scale uh, PvP and so I did some small scale PvP on my melee bruiser but as a light armor and then I was also to some on my mage and so I thought I'd give my thoughts on which one I prefer and how I went with each of them but I just wanted to show here a really good uh, 1vx that I had on my bruiser just to start off with so that's the first skill actually it wasn't a 1vx it was more of a small scale site but it's scale fight but it's like a really really good one so here I start to push in um, but I see that I'm all by myself so I just pull back a little bit because I want them to get around the side so we're not just getting pinged by all the rain I see this guy coming down I try to get a little sneaky pull on him but I don't get it off so I can see then my teammates have pulled back a bit so I come back down to them this is good for me because it means we're quite away from the range on the tower and we can see that these guys have pushed in so I go for my shockwave this guy's really low hit him with great axe he's down Chuck he's trying to get these guys caught in a gravity well just need to get a bit of a heal there I get that guy in the gravity well, I get caught in a stunt unfortunately, but the gravity well kills him. And then this guy realizes he's a little bit alone, so I go chasing after him. There's still three of them with us, because some of them have come down, so I turn back to get back onto them. And then I'm just trying to chase these guys down as they run away. This guy gets shot by one of the bows, that's really good. So I try to catch them in a sneaky stun, but I actually end up getting caught in one, which is uh, less than ideal. This sword and board guy just won't leave me alone, so I chuck him into a gravity well, get my shockwave off on him, and then do a heavy attack and finish him off. Fuck then that puts the fear of God into these other two. I put a path of destiny on them, and they try to run away, so I'm just trying to finish them off before they can... Because I know they're running for their base, I'm just trying to kill them before they can get to their base. But then I realize I'm a little bit outnumbered, so I pull back a little bit. And then we sort of refresh for the next next part. Get this guy on a shockwave, another heavy attack on him, dodge out of their heavy attacks. Then I chuck a grab well on them, so I keep them all caught in that, so I'm just trying to do as much damage as possible, but unfortunately I get caught in a stun. So yeah, and then I just try to back up a little bit. I see my teammate in trouble, so I do a path of destiny to try to get these guys off him a little bit. So this is where we start to break up a little bit, so I can see that they're all chasing after bow people, so I'm trying to peel for them. So I catch some in a stun right there, just trying to get my damage on them. I pull back to the sea trying to get people to come back to me, but this is where I can see we're really broken up. My teammates in big trouble. Chuck down the grab roll to catch them in it. Give him some time to get away. Trying to catch some of them in stuns. Trying to sort of lay some damage on top of them. I catch this guy in a shock wave, and it's all over for him. And I kill the wolf at the same time, so double kill. And then I see my friend. There's only three of them left, so I just, I've just got to try to catch them in a stun or something. One of my teammates comes in and catches a nice little riposte for them. They're built up again, but I catch them all in a truck wave, put a gravity well on, and then just start trying to do as much damage as I can to kill some. So I become a little bit of a target, just getting stun after stun, so I'm a little bit low, but I've still got my charge up, so I get away, drop a heal, and then I come back in. This guy's kind of on his own a little bit, so I kind of start to bully him and finish him off. And then I'm like, where are the rest? It's like magic. The rest have disappeared. But then I look down here and I see them in trouble. Get them into a shockwave. There's only two left. They're stunning me a little bit. But at this point, I'm just trying to finish them off. He's trying to get away, but I'm not yet. And then I get caught in the longest stun of my life. Like, hello. Um, you can hear me madly clicking. So, finish that guy off. And then it's just one guy left. So we come up to him. Get him in a stun. Oh, I don't catch him though. Pull him back down to my reap, and then it's all over Rover. Then we find two of them hanging out at Ugg, so we come and finish these guys off, which is sort of the end of the 1vx really. Um, so it's just not letting them get away. God, I love reap with light armor on my great axe, I have to say. So this is a pretty successful little start. This is one of the first fights I had when I decided, right, I'm just going to play small scale and OPR this weekend and see what I like more out of Mage and uh, light armor bruiser and so yeah this was a pretty pretty epic start to the weekend i have to say so this is a good little 1v2 that i had too this again was i think this was almost like my first fight i had when i re put on the uh great axe and warhammer so i'm in light armor usually i'm wearing medium armor um one of the big problems i've had playing bruiser which sort of made me go mage in the first place was just that lack of ability and the inability to catch bows 
and muskets. But light armor with reap really nullifies that. So I've been having fun. You can see that I'm getting this guy really low, but he's uh, turns into a bit of a... Like, I mean, he's doing what he needs to do. He's trying to get away in a very sneaky kind of way, and I'm trying to catch him. Then Ugg gets brought into the fight, so it's all just kind of like crazy at the moment. Um, and then his teammate comes to help him right here. So then it becomes turns into a little 1v2. So I pull him back, try to catch him in a grab roll, but he gets out of it. But I'm just basically... I catch him both in a shockwave here. Ugg's helping out as best he can. I managed to kill him off. And then it's just a fight with the mage. So, luckily, I has got aggro on them. Drops a fireball on. Catch them in the reap again. I'm just hitting them with a great axe, so they're kind of slowed at this point in time. I thought they would jump back off, so I did the shockwave. But I actually managed to catch them in the next stun that I do. Chuck another grab well on them, and then it's basically goodbye, buddy. So, that's really highlights to me one of the things that um, Melee in particular... You know, uh, but you know, obviously I'm playing light armor bruiser. Um, it's so good. It is it just it has the burst that the fire staff doesn't. Now I just have to preface all this with I'm talking about my experience with my skills, right? So I know mages can have a lot of burst because I've seen people like Solace, um, and I was watching a video this weekend of some mages that have really, really good burst. But um, they have the aim for it. I don't know. They, they've practiced on mages a lot. So when I say uh, Great Axe Warhammer has burst, that's based off like my ability to get those attacks off. I'm obviously a lot more comfortable with Great Axe and Warhammer. And I just prefer the playstyle, to be honest. So, yeah. But for me, it has a lot more burst, which means that I get a lot more kills. Um, and I'm able to whittle numbers down a lot more quickly when I'm in a 1vx fight. Job. I find with mage that well, you know, my aim isn't the best. I do find with mage, I'm um, I do better when they're attacking me. I feel like with mage, you want them to come and attack you because then you can get things yeah, off a lot easier, like ice spike and like leech. pillar of fire and stuff. Um, it's quite hard to hit people when they're like running away from you. Whereas I feel like with the bruiser, like armor. You can chase people down really, really well. It just really fits with the aggressive playstyle. So if you find yourself in a one v x situation on the bruiser and they're running away from you, I can you, know, you sort of chase after them and get those kills, especially with the extra burst that I have. I found that with my mage, I was having to. I I did well when people were chasing after me, but it wasn't very good when I was having to chase people down. Classic example of that here. Um, I was, you know, really doing a lot of damage to this guy and beating him, but as he starts to try to run away, I just find it really hard to, like, finish him off. I mean, we do in, we do in the end. And all the 1vx videos I've seen of mages that are really, really successful, it's the same sort of thing. Everyone's coming to them and attacking them. And that just gives them the advantage because you're able to place down your ice storm, you're able to do your ice spike, you're able to get your fireball off easier. It's a lot more difficult when you're chasing someone. And so one of the advantages of that with the bruiser is that you can obviously be killing because you're killing people quicker and you've got the burst you're able to keep the build up of the group slower so if you're one the scene and people are starting to trickle in to come and fight you you're kind of killing them as quickly as they're coming in so it never sort of gets out of control um whereas on the mage because i'm not killing people as quickly those fights sort of last a lot longer and then as a result there's more people that come into them and so it becomes harder to kind of keep it under control if that makes sense so yeah, Great Axe Warhammer Light Armor Burst good, um, and my bad aim on the Mage means Burst on my Mage is bad. Okay. Mage definitely has better kiting though, and one of the things I like about the Mage is it's easier to stay engaged in the fight. Like with the Bruiser, if there's like five bow people or whatever, muskets or Mages, often you can't like poke your head out into the open. Um, and so you're just sort of stuck standing there trying to kind of get close to them Whereas like with a mage you can be still hiding behind the tree and throwing off like attacks at them to try to get them to engage So I found like the mage was like really good for that like really good at keeping people Like staying engaged in a fight basically like right now is what you're seeing here is I'm using this tree for line of sight But I'm able to attack them at a distance now if I was on the bruiser I would have had to have run right out in the open and opened myself up to a lot more ranged attacks 
um, if you know what I mean. So I think that's a pretty big advantage of the yeah. mage. And then sort of tied into that, you know, mage, I think, is just much better at kiting than the bruiser, um, in my opinion. The, um... On the mage, I didn't die as much as the bruiser. The bruiser, I died a lot more. So it was sort of more of a high stakes game with the bruiser. Uh, with the mage, you're able to stay alive quite a while because you've got so many kiting capabilities with the uh, um, entomb, and then you've got your basically your charge, um, and yeah, you've got a bunch of CCs to stop people from getting to you. So bruiser was very frustrating at times, as I said. Um, still pretty good, like with light armor you're pretty kitey, so you can stay alive for quite a while, but yeah, so I, I didn't die enough that it was annoying, but certainly there were moments on the Bruiser where I was incredibly frustrated, um, because some people got on me and I just couldn't get away, and those moments I found like with the, so when I, we ranked, we ranked our uh, small scale kind of fights in OPR and to see how I found them at the end, no, 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 no. and the mage, the mage was pretty consistent all the time, like I always had a good time on the mage, whereas like with the bruises it was a little bit up and down, like some were like a 10 out of 10, um, and others were like really bad when you're just getting ruffle stomped because you just can't catch a break, so I feel like bruises is a lot more, yeah, as I said, it's a lot more high stakes, but you know, when it's good, it's good, and it's much better than mage, um, and yeah, unfortunately when it's bad, it really sucks. But, you know, in a way, I'd rather have really good and some shit ones than um, just good all the time. I think Mage transitioned to group play better than the Bruiser did a lot of the time. Like, it was very natural. Like, sometimes you'd be 1vx scene, and then next minute you know you're, like, fighting with the group. And one of the good things about the Mage here is, like, it was quite good at getting into the back lines. So you can see that I'm getting a few kills here. And I'm just like, you know, our, our team's like sort of fighting them in the middle. And we can just come sit in the background. Kind of keep a face, safe distance a little bit. And be picking people up. Especially especially the healers, which is really, really important. So you can see I've kind of cleared up all the healers and a lot of people in the back lines. And now I can apply all the big AoEs into their big kind of main ball. And so I, I do think like this. And then I can see the back lines built up a little bit. So then I start attacking them a little bit more. And then, you know, it sort of breaks the back lines. You're taking the, the healer's attention, they have to back up, and then it allows your bull to get the advantage and start to push up, which you can see here. But when I did fight in the group with the Bruiser, it was pretty amazing as well. Um, and obviously the Bruiser's got all that burst, well at least on me it does. And so you can really put a lot of damage into healers um, and stay on them. You just have to be a lot more careful not to get caught out. Because I am wearing light armor, so I can't take as many hits as I could in medium but as long as you're careful and you kind of go come, jump around the peripheries you can see here I can see the main group and I want to kind of jump on them so I kind of time it chuck my gravity well on them do a shock wave do some damage and then back right out so I don't get caught so but I was able to do a lot of damage to them so essentially achieving the same result as the um, mage but obviously you're doing more damage so it's probably like more devastating uh, to the group, so kind of same result. So overall, even then, I still preferred playing the Great Axe and the Warhammer on the group as well. But again, the Mage Burst is there, it's just I don't have good aim. Like, you can see an example of how well the Burst is here, um, when you get it done right. So it can absolutely delete people. So, I did really, really, I do really like the Mage, like playing it, but um, in the end, I think I do prefer bruiser but my frustration with the bruiser has been that i've always worn medium and so it's just really hard to 1vx in medium because you get chased down so quickly and people beat you up so easily because you just can't get away and so that's been my frustration and also if you come across bow people or muskets you know with rapier it's really hard to chase them down but by switching to like armor and using that reap it really really changed the game on that front um, and I've been really, really enjoying playing the kind of light armor bruiser. I, I don't think I'm ever going to want to be like a dex player because they're just too squishy. I do like to ha I like to be able to take a good punch in the face. I do like that bruiser um, style of play. So I'm trying to kind of play around with a build where I can be light armor and mobile but have that extra bit of tankiness. 
And I think I might have it in the, uh, actually in the Sword and Board Great Axe. I started playing that, and I actually started playing it in medium armor, um, in an OPR. And yeah, I found my mobility was, like, amazing, um, with that leaping strike from the Sword and Board. The amount of tankiness you get from it, like, every time I block an attack, it gives me Fortify, which is pretty amazing. So you get the mobility, you get the tankiness, um, and that's while wearing medium armor. So might, I, I think I'll try both light and medium armor, but I think with sword and board, I could probably play in light armor and still kind of be quite tanky, so kind of get that bruiser feel. Um, or, you know, stay in medium armor, because it seemed to work for me fine then, so that will probably be what I'll be testing next. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, everyone, and I will see you later.